Tomorrow's Bruce's birthday, and I have an awesome surprise planned. We are going to compare 2016 Specialized Stump Jumper with the 2021 Specialized Stump Jumper. But it'll be a little bit of a surprise which one he gets. So let's go find those bikes. Let's see where Bruce is at. I'm Spencer. I'm Bruce. This is Shop Talk. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Bruce. Happy birthday to you. This for me? Ye well, two I mean, bikes? Well, one of them is. The, the, the other one's me. But yeah, yeah, it is. But what? uh. What, what is it? That, it's a surprise. You're going to have to pick one. I can't tell you what they are. Dude, I haven't opened up a new bike box and like. At least a day. All right. <laughs> well, you better figure out whether you want A or B because it's uh, a real important decision, you know? I probably should have just left these out there, huh? I don't know why I dragged them all the way across the warehouse. Oh, I'm all sweaty now. So I they're, think. They're similar. They're very similar. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. The label's under there. All right, all right. I'm going to go with B You're for Bruce. B. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. I like the color. What is it? Let's pull this out. Oh, a stumpy! Specialized oh. stump jumper. Yeah. Oh, it's a really nice stumpy, too. All right, now you want to see what mine is? Yeah. Am I going to be jealous? So yours is 2021 stump jumper, right? Yeah. I don't think I'm going to be jealous, but... The specialized stump jumper. Except this <laughs> one. This one is... Is that the last gen stumpy? 2016. Oh, so, so this, is, this is two generations ago. So what better way to celebrate your birthday than a little comparison between these two uber popular models that we sell so huh. many of. Year after year, the Specialized Stump Jumper is the most popular mountain bike we sell. Yeah, by far. Maybe even the most popular of any bike. Mm-hmm. But the Specialized Stump Jumper has changed a lot over the years. Yeah, I mean, there's five years between these two, and it's undergone two revisions in you that time. You can see the difference. Yeah. Just right away, it's obvious the frames are designed in different ways. Mm -hmm. But let's start with just some of the basic numbers and differences between these two bikes. Let's start with wheel size. The older Stump Jumper has 27.5-inch wheels. This new one, 29-inch wheels. So the geometry has changed a lot. The newer bike is longer with a slacker head tube angle and a steeper seat tube angle. Oh. Hey, wait, you know what? I checked our website and just wrote them down. I forgot. <laughs> the new one, it's actually heavier. Really? 28 pounds, three ounces. The old one is 27 pounds, four ounces. Almost huh? a pound. So those are the objective numbers. But what about like some more subjective stuff? What do you love about your bike? Maybe, is there anything you hate? Yeah, I mean, the subjective side of mountain biking is super important to me and I'll say, Right off the top, what I love about this bike is the original Horstlink FSR mm -hmm. suspension design. This is what Specialized has done for years and years with all their bikes. And it's a great design. It's very active. It works well under braking. So honestly, when they came out with this new model, I was kind of surprised they went away with that pivot by the rear axle. Yeah, this is a linkage-driven single pivot with flex stays. You know, a little less complicated, a little lighter, a little more efficient. You know, it makes for like a sportier ride. Maybe not as sendy, but I don't think it's gonna hold me back. You're sendy enough already. <laughs> the thing I don't like about this 2016 model, Bruce, are the small wheels. It's 27 really? five inch wheels. I'm fully on board with 29er okay. across the board. It's not even worth discussing. You're not gonna change my mind about it. All right. But the one thing that I think we can agree on that should and can be changed about this bike is the specialized command post. Command post. This dropper post, it does work fine, but it has a tendency to extend in a very violent manner, which yeah. kind of keeps me up at night. I call it the butt puncher. Nobody wants that. As for your bike, I mean... <laughs> Dude, I look at it. It's gorgeous, specialized. They're killing it with the new colorways. It's great. The uh, XX1 Eagle Axis, gold, bling. Oh, Love man. your gold. I, Fox factory suspension. I, you know, maybe the only thing I don't like is the price. 
It's a big price difference between the 2016 model and the 2021 model. About $4,000. Uh, that's a lot of upgrades. <laughs> upgrades, apparel, I mean. Whistler uh, trips? You take a couple oh, trips man. to Whistler. I mean, yeah. man, is it really gonna be $4,000 more fun for you? That's, I, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, but but let's not get too down on it. I mean, it's a, let's, let's say something nice about the other person's bike. Well, okay, so if I'm gonna go on a Whistler trip and thrash a bike, I'm taking this one. This one, I'm gonna baby too much. This is the one I wanna. I want to rip. That is a pretty backhanded compliment, Bruce. <laughs> I'm going to let it slide because tomorrow's your birthday. All right. My favorite thing about the 2021 Stump Jumper is the geometry. It's a oh, subtle yeah. difference. You're not going to see it as like the flashy colors or whatever, but the long front end, the slack head tube, those things combine to create a bike that handles amazing. And mm -hmm. even if it had 27.5 wheels or older components or whatever, that geometry would make a world of difference. Yeah, and this. It's gonna handle fine, but this will give like, especially newer riders, a lot of confidence. Remarkable, in yeah. five years, how much things can change. Totally. But we should go in the Wayback Machine and see how things have changed even more drastically All since right. the early days of the Specialized Stump Jumper. All right, show me what you got. Let's go to the museum. Oh yeah, here it is. Championship winning bike right here, my friends. So this is Ned Overend's old bike, a 92 Stump Jumper M2. Race Northern Nationals, won a couple championships, a couple World Cups. And what this is, is an aluminum frame. So in 91, Specialized came out with the M2 version, which is lighter, full on cross country race bike. Yeah, Stump Jumper's changed a lot over the years. If you look at this compared to oh, your yeah. 2021 Stump Jumper, that's a pure trail shredding machine. For sure. It's quite a stark difference, but I mean, it's been around even longer than this too. I mean, they first introduced Stump Jumper in 1982. And back then, I don't think there was any difference at all between a trail bike, a cross country bike, whatever. You had one bike, you rode it, that yep. was that. Yep, those old clunkers were pretty slack though. That's true, I have one myself. And I, it's always fun to ride. I'd love to try out a tension disc. Yeah, that, that somehow never made a comeback, did it? I wonder why. Yeah. Well, yeah. maybe 2023. If you like what you see here, please remember to subscribe to the Pros Closets YouTube channel. And hit that like button. Smash the like button. Thanks for watching. Ugh, my arms. Hold still. Hold still. It's in kilos. <laughs> I don't know how many pounds that is. There you go.